Hey there guys, this is Chris and welcome back for another episode of Jurassic World The Game. So, I know it's been only one day, but I know you miss me, so I'm <laughs> ready to post a new episode. And, of course, there's always the reason that there's a new aquatic in the storyline. Okay, so this time is the Ammonite and I've never seen the <laughs> Ludia events bar, so empty. <laughs> only one event but I'm thinking that this was almost four days they're gonna throw in some normal events probably for a legendary or who knows a super rare pack so stay tuned and make sure you complete that as well but if not I'm gonna be here <laughs> okay so we don't have two buildings <laughs> we only have one building but yeah, let's do this, what lies beneath, and get this ammonite to show you guys. Okay, so first Ankylodocus. Now we have lots of spare dinos to use. And yeah, we can use, definitely can use hybrids. So yeah, I don't know, this is my favorite team. But no, we got three battles. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with this. Should have went for lower level ones. But it's okay. It can't be that difficult to complete the event. So I can't really remember how many he had, but doesn't matter he has 200 attack and boy <laughs> it's one of the few events in which i play and i'm overpowered <laughs> boom needed one more but no worries what you gonna do with six absolutely nothing one two three four and four reserves oh well at least I'll be able to use them in the morning for some better stage infinite battles. Seven. So he has one, right? Bye bye. And yeah, let's go one for seven. And just reserve one because. Hopefully then he will attack and I get to use Undominus to finish him up. Okay, go. Three. Why didn't you? One, two, three, one, two. Come on, I want to show you guys Indominus. <laughs> of course, you've already seen a lot of them. But yeah, this one's mine, <laughs> so it's special. And his baby brother is coming out soon. Now, I was thinking that a level 11 in Dominus wouldn't be better than a level 40 legendary, but yeah, it's, it's quite a bit better. It has like almost 800 attack and level 40 legendary only has about oh, what was that yeah 600 max that's t-rex so wow we should have probably kept <laughs> those better dinos for these battles because yeah this one's even tougher and wow quite a challenge but we're gonna use Ostrophricasaurus as a mid shield. Then we need a yeah, Dimorphodon and Dimetrodon. That should do it, hopefully. Hulasaurus is the main concern because he can one hit these carnivores. Switch and let's see, yeah. <laughs> wow. 
Okay, he didn't go for it. There's no point in attacking, so I'm just gonna grab as many reserves as possible. And yeah, let's do a bit of damage. Okay, so he he will have six and use five. Wish I could have killed him in two. But yeah, I think it's winnable. Totally winnable from here. Wonder what the last battle would be. One, ah, almost three and one reserve. Uh, <laughs> one defense, yeah, and four reserves. Good. So that's out of the way. So Ammonite. We're still missing that. Uh, not cave. That reef. Legendary Aquatic and I was kind of hoping it was going to be Chronosaurus for the next pack but no they didn't they did Ammonite and Ammonite is cave I think one two to kill it one reserve two and Ammonite is a yeah, cave like Dunkelostia, so we'll, we will have two cave. We should have had two surfers, and we will when they fix the missing dinosaur bug. But in the meanwhile, we will have to do with Leptocladus as the only reef. Probably they will release some super rares after this because I don't think they want to do all the legendaries at first because yeah legendaries is are the ones you wait for okay <laughs> let's see can we do this oh so yeah it's not that difficult we need sarcosuchus yeah, let's use Spino and Ankylodocus. Okay, we're good to go. Should have put Ankylodocus, the second one, because he will switch. <laughs> Look at that attack. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so should I switch now? No, I won't. I don't want to risk losing Ankylodocus. So if it's like last time, he went for three reserves, but no, it's not. So that's a bit better because he will use all of them. Five. And yeah, we need to switch because we don't want that Ankylodocus left with hmm, T-Rex. Or let him switch. One, two, three, four. Four reserves. Hopefully he won't attack. There's no reason because I have four defenses in his mind. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think he will. Please don't. Phew. Okay, these battle stages bots are a bit easier than the ones in the tournament, they're like more predictable a bit and play a lot more defensive, the ones in the tournament attacked, these ones only do when they know they can kill you, so you he used all of them and two, two defenses and four reserves by T-Rex. Yeah, I, I really want to get him back also. But there's like just so many and this Trudon is taking 10 days. I would definitely like to make another one. But yeah, he, he has about the same stats as Spinoraptor. I'll just show you guys. And 
Spiner Raptor takes 20 hours, costs 2000 DNA more, but yeah, it's 20 hours compared to 10 days. So the Ammonite pack, let's see you. Hopefully it's had some good resources. <laughs> yeah, great, 250 bucks. That's the same resources as in a rare pack. Oh, that's crap. That's really crap. I was hoping for like 750, but at least we get you bad boy. Hmm. He's now available to purchase. So yeah, remember, <laughs> have the best internet connection you can possibly have when you're opening the pack because if it disconnects before you tap the pack when you get back you will receive all the resources and ammonite but you won't receive this message and yeah like me you will be unable to hatch another one just like i am with megalodon so first Let's speed this Parasaurolophus. I think I spelled that correctly. Parasaurolophus. Great. And yeah, let's get to where are you? Ammonite. So let's he see his stats. So yeah, definitely a Therizinosaurus like dinosaur. But Styxosaurus is a lot better. Yeah, 70 attack and 400 health, but we'll have to see the DNA cost. So a bit less, only 3 days compared to Styxosaurus, which was 4 and a few hours. I really want to see his animation, his feeding animation. So he's not that great, but... At least we have another legendary. And the park is slowly getting bigger. <laughs> awesome. Go. And I'm gonna just leave a few so I can see his animation again. And let's see him swim away. They all do that. Go on. What's that thing over his head? No. <laughs> I was just about to miss him. But I can't see you there. And slowly drop down. <laughs> okay then, Ammonite. Good to have you. 6 out of 10 species. So which are we missing? Mosasaurus. Which we won't get. Megalodon, Chronosaurus. Yeah, I want that Chronosaurus, and they have to give us Megalodon. So, how is it 6 out of 10? 1, 2, 3. Oh, yeah, because we have a Stephoderma, which we got in the aquatic pack. Good. So, I would show you. I will show him in battle, but <laughs> yeah, I can't because we don't, we are not able to participate in these battles. And yeah, look, it's 4000, so still more expensive than, than the land dinosaurs are, but yeah, at least it's a lot cheaper than Styxosaurus. 20% yeah guys so that was ammonite for you and I don't know I'm thinking we're gonna get another event or so by tomorrow and the ammonite one should end on Thursday or Friday yeah and probably I don't know but I'm guessing they will start another tournament I'm not entirely sure but they may well 
do that for uh, Ceratosaurus. And yeah, who knows? Maybe this time they will make a one week event or nine days like Antarctopelta and we don't have to waste so much of our time. Kidding guys, so if you like this episode and would like to receive a notification when the next one appears, press the subscribe button right in the in the right bottom right corner <laughs> and I'll see you then. Until then take care and have a great day. Bye.